Next tonight, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. You might recognize that a proverb that fits in well here in western New York, where there's a growing movement to get new trees in the ground right now. If you live in the city of Buffalo, there is a resource designed to do just that. It is the tree request feature through 311. This database showing 69 requests for new trees so far this year. All of them have been completed, we're told. Those requests coming from neighborhoods in North Buffalo, the West Side, and South Buffalo. But it's not just this 311 program that's planting the next generation of trees. There are some passionate people dedicated to retreeing our region, and they have shared their messages with our Taylor Epps, and she joins us live next to some of the city's newest trees in East Buffalo tonight. Taylor. Yeah, Jeff Leah, that's right. Good evening to you. Good evening, everybody. I'm here outside Futures Academy with the next generation of trees. Take a look at these guys. A little small right now, but don't worry. Give them about 20 years or so. They'll go from Taylor Epps, Leo Lando height to more, but Jeff Russo-esque stature and get pretty big and grow all around Futures Academy here. But this is the latest one, but the largest retreat effort in Western New York really got its start 17 years ago, born out of one of the worst snowstorms in Buffalo's history. The National Weather Service has given the October 2006 storm a fitting nickname, the night the trees wept. More than 50,000 trees were damaged in the two day storm. That was the spark for Retree Western New York. The organization came together with a goal to replant the trees we lost. Now, despite meeting that goal three years ago, Retree is like our own personal Lorax, right? Speaking for the trees and continuing to add to our city and to our community. So maybe you're sitting at home thinking, hey, what happened to the trees in my neighborhood and when are they coming back? I went behind the scenes to take a look at this process for you. It brings out a, a, a bit of, of frustration, there's, there's no question. Seeing stumps where he used to see big, beautiful trees brings the mood down for Matthew Downey. I met him at LaSalle Park Wednesday afternoon, one of his favorite spots because of the trees. Think about how you feel when you go down a block and there's shady, big, beautiful trees. You're just like, you might not even think about it, but it feels good. You're just like, this feels good. The trees at LaSalle are gone because of construction, but you might be wondering what happened to the tree on my street? Ashland Avenue, ash trees. They've been eaten up by this little bug and it's called the emerald ash borer. That's why trees have had to come down in the Elmwood Village. And then there's our Western New York winters that are tough on older trees. Uh, in the city, a lot of uh, silver maples, and Norway maples, and those tend to be very brittle and they're getting up in age. They're 70 years old, many of them, and that uh, is, a, is about their lifespan. So we're losing those. Paul Maurer has become a tree expert over the years. He tells me the goal is to have more trees like this famous one on Franklin Street, more than 250 years old. But we've got to start small, like these new guys. I love this tree. He just planted these with his organization, Retreat. And now all we do is we just uh, look for uh, areas that need to be planted. We work closely with the city. They tell us what kind of species to put in in a particular spot. When we lose a tree, we will replace it with a better situation. They work with the city and local block clubs to bring new life to areas that need it. To just uh, make the neighborhood a better neighborhood by way of the looks of the neighborhood. It kind of softens the look of the street. It adds, of course, value to the homeowners in this neighborhood. With the help of volunteers, they planted more than 30,000 trees in the past 17 years. So where's next? North side, east side. <laughs> it's, it almost sounds like a song. You know, <laughs> east side, west side, all around the town. But we're going to be pretty much um, all over the place. And it's all a labor of love. It, it, it grows on grows on you. Uh, it really does. It's something that once you start doing this, you feel like, you know, this is something I'll always do. All right, take a look at this big tree outside of Futures Academy. This is where we want to get all around the city of Buffalo, really improving the landscape out here. These little guys are going to continue to grow all summer long, but come fall, Retree is going to be out here planting again. And these are the spots they're going to hit. They're going to be on Poplar Avenue, Dote Street, the First Ward, Niagara Street, and in North Buffalo. We're going to have all that listed for you on our website at WKBW.com. And they're always looking for volunteers to help them put those shovels in the ground. So we'll have that information as well for you on our website again at WKBW.com. For now, in Buffalo, Taylor Rep 7 News. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Jeff and Leah.